hello guys here is another video for you today in this video we're going to deal with the usb boot on lenovo thinkpad l440 as you can see the windows is not starting up properly so today we're going to use this bootable windows 10 in uefi format and reinstall the windows and before we do that we need to get into bios change the settings and today we're going to reinstall in uefi based okay there's the difference between legacy and UEFI. One is opposite of another. So first of all, make sure charger is connected and plug your bootable USB thumb drive, which one has correctly Windows 10 loaded in there. Press and hold to completely turn it off. And then we're gonna see the ThinkPad. And once we see, we're gonna press any key to interrupt the normal boot and it will take us directly to BIOS. That's the common way to get into BIOS for Lenovo ThinkPad. Sometimes they take a little bit of time, which is normal. As soon as you see, press F1 to get into BIOS straight away. And here you go, that's the ThinkPad setup. On the left hand side, as you can see main, it talks about the serial number, BIOS version, everything, CPU speed and service tech and stuff like that. And the next one, which is called config. So from here, if you go into USB, hit enter. And as you can see, it says USB UEFI BIOS support enabled. So if this is disabled, then you must have to make it enabled if you would like to install in UEFI support and always on rest everything is fine USB 3.0 mode auto that's absolutely fine so press ESC once that would take you to the main menu and now if you go to the security as you can see the security chip is active which is absolutely fine this is kind of TPM and then once again if you press escape button it will take us to the main and then you need to go to secure boot and as you can see the secure boot is disabled we have to make it enable once you try to make it enable is going to give you setup confirmation remember uefi or legacy only so if you choose uefi then csm support would be no i mean disable that's the good thing because most of the laptop doesn't say like that Remember, UEFI and legacy, legacy is related to CSM support. If you're on a legacy on, CSM has to be on. And if you want only UEFI format, then CSM would be automatically disabled. All right. So that's the difference. Normally, it doesn't say that's the reason why most of the people that says, hey, I don't see any legacy options in here. OK, indirectly, it does say it's like that. So we're going to say, are you sure to change these settings? We're going to say yes by pressing enter. And now secure boot is enabled, which is fine. Now we can save the changes. And now if you go to the startup option, which is on the right hand side and select boot, it's going to show us all the boot priority orders. And also in here, we have to check if there is anything excluded from the boot priority order. So if it says USB or CD or USB FTD excluded, that would be a problem, all right? So we, as you can see, here is everything fine. We don't have to do any changes. So we're gonna restart the system by saving it. Now press enter and it will show you everything. Press F12 to get into temporary boot devices. Now from here, would be able to see our bootable USB thumb drive on the list. But unfortunately, as you can see, it doesn't show any USB connected. It does happen. Don't be surprised if you see this sort of scenario. Make sure you change the USB into different port. Might be there is a problem with the USB port or could be your bootable thumb drive is now uh, born or created properly. So once again, we're going to turn this off and turn on and repeat the same thing. Hit enter to interrupt the normal boot. 
So once again hit enter and it will show us all the highlighted option press F tool it will take us directly to the temporary boot option once again. Now we're going to check if this is visible. Here we go. As you can see, it says USB HDD SanDisk Cruiser. That's the one. I just clicked on enter. And now I hope successfully it would give us the Windows setup page if everything is all right here. So there are a couple of things it depends on especially the bootable USB thumb drive. Make sure uh, this is correctly created and then make sure the USB port of the laptop is absolutely fine. Okay, sometimes it doesn't support USB 2.0, USB 3.0 does make difference. Anyway, it's loading up. That's all, okay. So as you can see the Windows setup page, from here we need to choose the language input, time and currency settings and keyboard and input setup. I'm going to continue with this just to finish and complete the video properly. I hope you guys know already how to do this. All right, so pretty much that's all. That's how you need to enable the USB boot due to reinstall Windows 10 on Lenovo ThinkPad L440. And still, if you do have any question, if you struggle with it, make sure you leave your question in the comment section. And please, if you do like this video, don't forget to subscribe to show your support. Thank you so much for watching. Bye for now.